can't believe I've... Do you remember the subprime mortgage mess? No. I mean, everybody bought the house four times that they could afford. Not everybody. Um, and we were promised, you know, magic miracles. It was stupid. It didn't work. And now we're doing exactly the same thing with health care. And, I mean, unless people stand up, they're going to do it. Charles Payne, Fox Business Network, also the CEO, Wall Street Strategies. Charles, first of all, I have to tell you, I went to Harlem with you today and had a great time. We yeah, it was really great. Fantastic. Working on a piece uh, for, uh, I, I think, maybe next week with you and where you grew up and, and the stories and what it means today. And it's just, it's yeah. great. It was, it was great. fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so, um, Charles, um, am I wrong to say that we're creating exactly the same mess, except now we're not going to lose our house? It's, it's the whole ball of wax. It's the country. It's without a doubt the whole ball of wax and the same thing. I mean, we couldn't have had this subprime mess if it wasn't for the federal government, if it wasn't for Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac facilitating those evil loans that right. we keep hearing about. There had to be a place to dump them. That became the place to dump them. And we wouldn't have had the risky schemes. I mean, people were greedy. Right. Don't get me wrong. But we also wouldn't have had the risky schemes, a lot of it, if the government wouldn't have been pressuring these people business people to do things that they said that's not good business the bottom line is the real genesis if you want to go to the community reinvestment act uh, which pressured right. banks to make these loans right and they used the tactics of they went to the banks and said you're racist if you don't do right. it you're a hate monger you just hate poor people whatever it was isn't this the same tactic and give me give me some well, it's definitely the guilt trip tactic and you know and, it, and it's and it's really in, incredible but because when you think that we were, this was all supposed to be okay because, you know, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac facilitating this, they're buying these loans, everything's going to be okay. And that's why, of course, Wall Street wanted to take advantage of it. You had somebody... Somebody, somebody else would take it. Right. You know, right. what the heck are those there's nobody else. When we, when we put, put the debt clock up here, please. I mean, look at the, look at the uh, debt clock. Which one is it? Okay, here. The debt clock. The liability per citizen for all of it, $343,763. There's no way to pay that off. And, and that's, that's, enti that's entitlement programs. This, right. this health care is a, the next biggest, greatest entitlement program ever. I mean, if you take the, just Medicare and Social Security, 75 years, we're talking $45 trillion. Unfunded, no, right. don't know where the money is. But are we from. talking about our unfunded liabilities on this debt clock? I can't remember. Is what, what, Joe, do you remember? It's like $110 trillion now. Something like that. Trillion. It's like a hundred trillion yeah, it's, it's, dollars. It's, it's, it's insane. Number doesn't stop. It's not going to last seventy-five years, <laughs> right? right? right. So, so what happens when we lose, when when this mortgage goes down, when this meltdown happens? We lose the country, I, don't we? That's it. I mean, we 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 will be a totally bankrupt company, country rather. And do it, you do you believe it's true? I talked to somebody who is very big hedge fund, and he was really frightened, and he said, "Glenn, I can't figure a way out." I can't see a way out. I can't see that we don't end up Mexico 1995 in three, two, five, ten years tops. Well, you know, Moody's is already saying that maybe in three or four years they're going to downgrade us from a triple-A country. Last year they said it would be ten years. That just shows you how rapidly this thing is moving, to your point. And there's no doubt about it. And the way they're selling it to the American public, this health care thing, it's just, you know, in the CBO score, Glenn, uh, you got to be kidding me. Now, when they first scored the Kennedy bill, they said it was going to cost a trillion dollars, and it, wouldn't, it would cover just 16 million more people. Now, all of a sudden, it's going to make people money? <laughs> uh, it's going to make us money? Hi, I'm Jack, <laughs> and I have some magic beans for you. Back in just a second.